How a CZ Shadow 2 Works. The Shadow 2 is a double action, single action pistol. In double action, the trigger is responsible for cocking and releasing the hammer. After the slide cycles, the gun is ready to fire in single action. In single action, a short trigger pull releases the hammer again. Let's take a closer look at how each function is accomplished. Double action. As the trigger is pulled, and after a short amount of pre-travel, the trigger bar engages the disconnector. The trigger bar and disconnector move along the underside of the sear cage, with the trigger bar being held up by the trigger bar spring. The disconnector uses leverage to rotate the hammer backwards. The sear moves along the surface of the hammer, past the half-cocked hammer notch, and towards the full-cocked hammer notch. The hammer strut compresses the hammer, or mainspring, storing potential energy. The angled portion of the sear cage begins to force the trigger bar down. Eventually, the trigger bar makes contact with the sear arm, ensuring the sear is clear from the hammer notches. The trigger bar is forced below the disconnector, which allows the disconnector to move forward again. Let's see that again. The potential energy in the hammer spring is converted to kinetic energy, rotating the hammer forward, striking the firing pin with enough force to ignite the cartridge and fire the projectile. Energy from the cartridge forces the slide back. The slide forces the trigger bar down, which allows the sear to re-engage the hammer as the hammer is rotated backwards by the slide. The recoil spring decompresses, pushing the slide forward. As the slide is returning, the sear engages the hammer notches. As the trigger is released, the trigger bar moves in position in front of the sear arm. The forward rotation of the trigger is stopped as the disconnector engages the trigger bar. Let's watch the double action trigger pull again from another angle. The cycle is now complete and the gun is ready to fire again. In single action, the trigger has a small amount of take up or pre-travel until the trigger bar re-engages the sear arm. As the trigger bar pushes on the sear arm, the sear nose is rotated out of the hammer notches. Once again, the sear cage forces the trigger bar down, allowing the disconnector to move forward again. Energy is released from the hammer spring, rotating the hammer forward again into the firing pin. The cycle of operation continues as the trigger is reset again for another single action trigger pull. As the slide cycles back, the barrel moves backwards and rotates, guided by its engagement with the slide lock pin. The extractor removes the spent shell casing from the barrel. As the slide continues further back, the shell casing makes contact with the ejector arm located on the sear cage. The spent case is ejected through the ejection port on the slide. With the slide back, the next round moves into position. As the slide cycles back forward, powered by the recoil spring, the next round is stripped from the magazine by the slide and fed up the ramp into the chamber. The barrel is then pushed forward and rotated again until the locking lugs seat in the slide locking recesses. In single action, the safety can be engaged by rotating it upwards. The safety blocks rotation of the sear, preventing the hammer from rotating forward. With the safety disengaged, 
the gun is now ready to fire and the sear is once again rotated out of the hammer notches. After the final round is chambered, the magazine follower pushes on the slide lock. As the slide cycles, the slide lock is rotated into a notch on the slide rail. This engagement locks the slide back after the final round has been fired. When the magazine release is depressed, it disengages from the magazine and allows it to be removed. When a new magazine is inserted, the magazine release re-engages the magazine and locks it in. When the slide lock is rotated down, the slide resumes its forward motion, chambering around. The gun is now ready to fire again. Let us know in the comments what gun you would like to see next. Thanks for watching.